Hello, I am Agathis and I am online and today we return to Hand of Fate. Let's see what the dealer has in store for us this time. Back so soon? I knew you would not falter. Alright. Now let us see how you fare against the Queen. Yes, it is time for another run. Uh, having defeated the King of Skulls in the last episode, we now moved on to the Queen of Scales. Uh, so Queen of Scales gives us Cursed Luck. The difficulty of picking a successful chance card is increased. So all games of chance, all the games with the four cards that switch around, um, there's no way we're going to win those, basically. It's going to be really difficult. And there's additional cards for Bad Fortune and Lost in Swamp. Whatever those are. Um, it is said that if you destroy a queen's totem, its spell will be broken and any surrounding lizards will be damaged. It is not known whether ever Honor has ever succeed, successfully achieved this. Okay. The great dragon queens of the lizard people are the fiercest warlords and generals. So let's see what's in the deck builder. Would we like to use the recommended equipment encounter deck? Yes, we'll start off with this and see what happens. So we are still doing a soldier's training. Um, we are unlucky, which means chance cards are even more difficult. So that's why, basically, chance cards, we don't have a chance. No way. And we do increase damage as the combo meter rises, which is quite nice. Uh, we're going to start with an axe, a shield, heavy armor, ring of hindsight, ooh, and merchant's ring. I think this is a new one, because we just got the pentacle for defeating the King of Skulls. All shops revealed when entering a new region. That's quite nice. And the soldier's helmet. So there's a goblet, a scepter, and the pentacle. Yeah, our starting gear has been upgraded. Let's have a look in the equipment deck, first of all. So, there's no particular things that we need. Ooh, Skeleton King's Sword. Yeah, this is new. We don't know what that means, yes. We definitely want that in. Thunderstrike, Undead Bane. Shields, as usual. Some armor. I really like the Mithril armor. That was good last time. I'm going to take out some helmets, because we start with a helmet, and there's no real point in replacing it. So, um, Helm of Reinforcement, it makes our armor extra heavy. That can go. Cool gold. Yeah, the gold is nice, but I'm not too worried about it. That can go. Healing cap, again, is nice. Helm of Reflection, which is that one. Force explosion when we reflect. Okay, we might keep that one in. Hearn's antlers we do want because lizard men take double damage from the player's attack. We we'll want that one. Assassin's greed we don't know. Fleet cuffs are always nice to have. Any kind of gloves really are good. We'll put in the skeleton king's helm because I want to know what it is basically. Take out the Helm of Reflection, perhaps. I want to know what Fate's Folly is, also. Are there any other new ones here? Ooh, Soldier's Ring. Let's put that in. That gives us 30. Sure, I guess that'll do. Okay, back. That's fine. 
what about our encounters then? There are so many cards going on here. Let's see. Twisted Canyon. Yeah, it's a hard one. Maiden, Mr. Lionel, Heroes Remains, Food Wagon. Yeah, all the usual ones. What could we take out? Perhaps. Take out the shop. And the noble trader, he just wants to buy one of our magical items. And we normally want those. We'll take out Holy Forge and Metal Ore because those are hard to do. It's hard to get the Metal Ore before you get the Holy Forge. We'll tell help the locals. We'll take that because last time we, we got something from it. That one again. Combat. Yeah, we have to get on the ship, I think. Okay, it's fine. We'll take that. Um, we'll keep the White Council card. We'll keep the Lonely Bard. Those Golem hunting parties are still there. Can't take out the ghost of the sea. That's really annoying. We can't take out the lich. We can't take out the queen of scales. There's loads of token cards here. Maybe we can take out desert cult. Let's see if we can finish the charity series, perhaps. That's a, that's a card one. That's a that's a selection one. Maybe we won't do that one just yet. We'll put some of his training in then. Uh, maybe we want Kraken Cult in to try and get rid of that one. So we'll take out. Um, Priest. That'll do. Plenty of chances to do this. Also, I think we've finished soldiers' training now. I think. I think we've now finished all of the. Um, I think we've finished that. If we finish that, then we can move on. Um, just check. Yeah, we've done it. We've finished all the trader. We've so much finished all the soldiers' training. So we started the adventurer one. And uh, we've done Nymph of the Sweetwoods. Um, we did all the soldiers training ones. Now we can try another one. That was kind of the, the objective we decided upon. Um, I guess the next one is Shadow Agent. Sure. Let's take Shadow Agent. Uh, we start with less health, more food. A shadow sword, a shield, light armor, ring of hindsight. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're gonna be a shadow agent. That's it. Um, now, I just notice the shadow agent starts with light armor. So that means. You know what that means? We're gonna try and get that river card done with light armor, thank goodness. And let's just take out um, Stranger in the Shadows. And let's take out Blood Auction. Yes, where's Blood Auction gone? 
Because that's the one where you give up your health to get gold. And he starts with 70 health. So... That's probably not a good one to do. Blood Auction Part 2. Yeah, it's there. Okay, we're not using that. That's 30. Good. Okay, this has taken us a while. Let's uh, get started. Maybe we'll die horribly, but let's give it a go. You will find very little success in the Queen's domain. Even fate itself turns against you here. Ooh. They look nasty. So, the idea with the wild cards, the face cards, um, was that we think it means these were different roles that this character had. In their past life, they start to ask the These steps you take, none have taken before. Do you appreciate what I have built? Oh, Do you tougher. understand the elegance of the systems I have forged? We think that in the in the, in his past life, um, our character started as an apprentice and then became a soldier. And then maybe became a shadow agent and then and so on and so forth. And eventually maybe became a warlord something like that so we're playing through the fate cards and now we're playing as the shadow agent and as our bonus first uh, item we get Hearn's antlers that's gonna be so useful now I'm gonna keep the shadow agent helm on Upon entering a level, all encounters that may have a chance card event are indicated. Um, now, supposedly, we're not very good at chance cards because of the Queen of Scales. But this makes us better at chance cards, so maybe it evens out. So I won't equip it just yet. Are you sure that's the right approach? And we get a blessing, Holy Touch. Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. Oh look, there it is. That means it might be a chance card. That's cool. Well, on with the adventure. What have we got? Soldiers training. So we've unlocked this as a result of completing the soldier path. You arrive outside a barracks. You are immediately approached by a sword liege of the Duke's army. You look good with a weapon. Get in here and show these wastrels how to survive on the field of battle. Uh, yeah, let's show them how it's done. We've rounded up some local brigands for you to practice on. You stride confidently into the combat practice area. The dealer draws you two monster cards. Our King of Dust again returns, with his companions by his side. King of Dust, Three of Dust. Alright, let's see how this looks. We haven't played as the Shadow Agent before, so... Let's see. He's got a different hat on, he's got a sword, he's got a shield. Increase the combo counter to 30 hits. Okay, swap, two, three, parry. Parry. Go. Combo Six, 
seven, parry, ace, parry. Ace, parry, seven, parry. Thanks for your services, soldier. We need well-trained fighters in times like these. You're welcome to return here. I can't offer you much payment, but go see Gerald at the stores and he'll see what we might be able to spare. Draw two gain cards. Gain three food. I'm sure you're grateful for that. How about some healing? Gain 15 gold. Okay, can we just move around a little bit to heal up? We'll go here. We'll go back to the stairs. I'll go back again. And again. And again. Okay, 17 health. That's a start. So, this had a little die on it. But it didn't have a chance encounter, I don't think. Or maybe if we'd have, if we'd have pretended to be an unskilled fighter, it would have done. Right. That must be what it is. We didn't choose that option. Right, onwards to the north. The lonely This bard. is what comes from interfering. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. One day on your travels, you meet a familiar face. The young man whom you helped escape town with his beloved. He is sitting under a tree, singing to himself. As you approach, you realise that he stinks of ale and his singing is a little too merry. He looks up as you approach. You! Haven't you caused enough sorrow? He stops to take another sip from a bottle. Thanks to you, we escaped the town. Well, obviously. He goes on to explain that once they were free of her father's pursuit, his beloved ditched him. For the first mercenary we, we met, if only we'd never left. He continues angrily. Now I must beg for coin to pay for my drink. Ten gold for a song. Or have you no pity for fools? Uh, okay, well we've encountered this guy before and we didn't have any, any gold to pay him. So I guess we should take pity on him and pay him ten gold for a song. You throw him a few coins and he composes himself. He begins to sing. He conjures up vivid and heartfelt imagery of beauty and innocence, lifting your morale and inspiring you to epic deeds. The dealer draws you one max health gain card. This card's token is now yours. Gain 15% More health max to work health. with. Much good mate do you. 
We really need that because our starting health is quite low for this character. Okay, 81. So now we're up to 23. The song ends and he drifts into a restless slumber. You continue your journey. On we go then. And we got a token. Clink. So, next one to the north. Uh oh. Gollum hunting party. Defeat this challenge three times in one session to remove it from your deck. On a moonlit night, you see a group of golems on their way to attack another human settlement. The dealer draws you one monster card. One of lava golems. Your path leads towards them, but they have not spotted you. Will you attack or try to go around them? We are low on health, but we really need these out of our deck. Let's attack. Three successes, one failure. A choice. Select your desire. Yes, that was quite an easy one. That's good to know. Good to know chance cards aren't too bad on this character. Just don't get hit, right? That's all you have to do, Agathis. Don't get hit. Okay, helmet, shield, special sword. Let's go. Take it nice and slowly. Don't jump into the traps either. Damn it! Blood stains the ground beneath your corpse. Your weapon has powers, yet you haven't used them. And now you're dead. Dead in the lands of the lizard men. Well, that was inevitable, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we didn't use the Shadow Sword. I need to work out what to do with that, what it does. But we get a token. Let's see what the one token gives us. For buying a song from the Lonely Bard, you receive... Innocence, a shield. And that's it! Okay, we can do better than that. And we're going to do that in the next episode. Thanks very much for joining me. Uh, sorry that we didn't get much further, but this is just one of those things that we have to go through. Next time, we'll at least make it to level 2. Uh, this character doesn't have much uh, in the way of starting health, so we've got to be really careful. Um, I've been away for a little bit, and I'm back, so sorry for the delay. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, leave comments, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I also have a Twitch channel, uh, which is twitch.tv slash agathis. Uh, I've been doing some streaming on that, some MechWarrior and a few other things. Please come and stop and say hello. Um, leave any comments that you like, it helps to uh, beat the YouTube algorithm. Maybe one day we'll get to 50 subscribers. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you, the dealer, and maybe more of the Lizard Queen's minions in the next video next time. I'm Agathis, I'm going offline, I will see you next time. I really have to work on this, don't I? Bye!